What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. What are we taking on this fine, fine day? Have you done Super Friends yet? Um, I can't remember, actually. Maybe it was at the very beginning? Bloodstained Mire is a great Storm first pick. Matthew, tell me, explain to me what you like about Storm. Because I feel like it, it's, it's, it's against the spirit of magic where both players try to have fun and interact with each other. And it feels very... It's a very self-centered archetype. I mean, by its own nature. You know, like, you, you get to do all the things and your opponent does nothing but watch. And they have to wait for you because you could definitely fail. So, I don't know. I mean, like, I'm not a huge fan of Storm. And, like, it's why I took the cards out of my cube. Because I just don't think it makes for a fun experience. But... I mean, I obviously people do like it, you know, and it is it's it's challenging. It's like a puzzle and you're putting the pieces together. But like okay, but at the cost of someone else's experience, right? I don't know. I feel like I had I had two Super Friends decks. One was from Super Fritz, and that had Golos in it. And one was from someone else I forgot who it was. But I don't remember if that was this cube or if that was previously. Light steel, huh? Hanger back, huh? So if we want to do, if we want to do tinker, like you can't just want to do tinker, right? You got to try to, you got to actually, you got to actually open the tinker. Actually, tomb is good. Yeah, we can take a tomb. I'll take a tomb. What the hell? What the heck? You know what? I'll take a tomb. I kind of like mirror battle sphere. This is not the greatest signet, but like these are two artifacts, and if we get that metal worker. Boy, you don't even know. You don't even know about the metal worker. I kind of like Force of Negation here. I mean, if you're picking artifacts, you're obviously trying to be blue. Mind Slaver might table. But Force of Negation won't. I like it because it's a challenge. It involves math and it's super fragile and leads to really wacky endings. I also like that it kind of breaks what magic is supposed to be. But that being said, I don't want to live in a world where everyone is storming and I realize you are doing it at your opponent's expense. Okay, so I appreciate that. Yeah, sure. But I mean, like, I feel like it's like... Like, it's almost the same as like if I sat down and I played solitaire with myself and I said, I have to win within five turns. Like, isn't that very similar to Storm? You know, I don't know. It just seems like... I dislike magic when it feels like I don't need an opponent or I don't have an opponent. That makes magic less fun for me. Uh, Brazen Barber is probably fine here. Got a Yawgmoth's will. Are we storming, Matthew? <laughs> I think it's just Brazy B. You can do magic. It feels like a lot of the things you don't like about Storm are applicable to combo decks. I mean, no, not really, though. Like, in Splinter Twin, for example, they play a Deceiver Exarch, they play a Splinter Twin. I can kill it because I have creature removal. I can kill the Splinter Twin because I have enchantment removal. Those are both very interactive components in a game of magic. Additionally, it's two cards, not 40 cards. And if, if my opponent is playing Splinter Twin and, and Deceiver Exarch, if they don't have an answer, okay, cool. Or if I don't have an answer, I can go to the next game. Cool, I'm done. Four seconds of my time has been wasted. When they storm, I literally have to sit here for 11 minutes and wait for them to either kill me or realize they can't kill me. <laughs> and, then we go to the, and then we go to the next game. Same thing with like Channel, Channel Emrakul, right? Like I'd rather have... I'd rather have them go turn to channel Emrakul kill you. Done. It's done. Cool. Now I can go to the next game. It's a time equity thing. Like my time is more valuable than having to sit here and wait while my opponent plays magic for 11 minutes and I don't get to. You know what I mean? Like that's just. Euro could be good. I feel like I'm dazing though. I kind of like days. I kind of want to get him with the days. Also, I don't want to commit to green here. Oh, I like a Karn actually. Yeah, I'll take a card in here. Mm, Frexy Negator, it's not impressive, but it's, it's still a two-man artifact. We can tinker it.
Shark Typhoon? All right, we're doing it. We must be talking about Awful Storm. Yeah, and it's don't don't get me wrong. I don't want to keep bringing up Storm and harping on it. Like it's not my goal. It's just like if we if it comes up in chat, I'll definitely talk about it. <sighs> Him to Torok, huh? What about Ravages of War? Uh, I don't really care about Underground Sea because I don't like. I, I mean, I'd rather take a playable, a very, very playable card in our deck than a than a, a, a C that I might never use. <sighs> Let's take Ravages. I think it's I'm more likely to cast a Ravages of War here than I am. Let's take Day of Judgment. Sure. Let's take a High Tide. Oh, all right, that's interesting. Mari Conjecture. Sure. And, okay, so we got a bunch of different paths here. We got a Palancron, a Mirari Conjecture, and a High Tide, all of which are playable if we're mono blue. How much to play Ravages and Armageddon? See, again, you're asking me to play two cards. How do I get both of these cards? I'll definitely play Ravages if you're like, Ravages Stipulation. I'll be like, okay, cool, we'll build around that. But I can't guarantee I'll get both, you know? In before he gets both. Oh, man, Sneak Attack. Dang it, Unforgiven. So I like Sneak Attack here, for obvious reasons. We already have Blightsteel. Also, Palancron with Sneak Attack is a combo as well. It makes infinite mana. If you have, what, five, I think? No, you have to have six. If you have six lands, because you put Palancron into play with Sneak Attack, pay four to return it, so that's five, and then you untap six lands. This makes me sad, because I did want to... I also, there's also Fractured Identity, right? So, it's either Fractured Identity or Sneak Attack. What do you guys think? I need some... Alright, Sneak Attack it is. Unforgiving, we're Sneak Attacking, buddy. Alright. We're doing it. Nothing super exciting in here, but I have been having a good time with Commit. I think Commit's actually pretty good. Watch us get nothing else that goes with the uh, with the sneak attack. Uh, Torrential Gearhulk's pretty sweet. We can Force of Negation, we can Daze, we can Commit, or we can Memory. <laughs> oh god, what's the turnabout? Here he goes. Here he goes. Here he goes. Here he goes. <laughs> Oh, God, look at that. Did you see that? I tried to grab this guy, and it was actually Commit, and Commit just moved over here. It's so... So scary. Oh. oh! No! Oh, my God, in the same pack? <sighs> but again, like, drafting Sneak Attack and Blightsteel literally speaks to the same defense that I had earlier. It's literally, I tap a red, put Blightsteel in the play, and kill you. The game is over. It's done. You don't have to wait 20 minutes. Like, if you think if you think I have an issue with combos, I don't. I have an issue with the time and the one-sidedness of Storm. Like, it's it's totally just, like, not, not the same at all. <sighs> all right, we'll take Time Spiral. Maybe Narset comes back. Teferi? And it's got to be better than Stupid Lightning Bolt. Especially because we're trying to do things here. Yeah, we'll take Teferi. So these are my these are my ifs right now. I'm not sure which one we're going for. Maybe we just hard cast the stupid. Yeah, I think it's just signet. Signet's not either of our colors, but it's still a signet. And if we get a tinker, it's just going to be significantly more beneficial. <sighs> Nothing great in here. I mean, if we end up being white, I guess Gideon's cool, but like we're probably not playing anything in this pack. Thank you. Oh, fancy art. 17 months. That's almost 17 months. It is almost 17 months. Man. You guys are all mathematicians. I'm so proud of each and every one of you.
Oh, Shell Dock Isle? Okay, I'll take Shell Dock Isle. I mean, realistically, if we get, like, two Eldrazi. Toxic's easier to splash, but I'm, if, if we're playing white, I'm not looking to splash. Like, if we play Ravages, Teferi, Gideon, Day of Judgment, then white is just our second color. Hmm. Turn one mountain into Goblins of the Flarg. It did 20 points of damage to me over 21 turns. Uh, you shouldn't have given him that many turns. Ugh, God. Uh, I'll take face setters for the same white reason. Oh, turnabout came back. That's fascinating. Oh, God. We're unintentionally storming, Matthew. Armageddon? <laughs> oh, buddy. So we got Armageddon and Ravages now. So, okay. I'll take LED here. Boy, this has been a wild ride, guys. I'll take Progenitus just because it's good with, uh, it's not good, but it is something I can sneak into play depending on what we get here. Interesting. I mean, it's just Teferi, right? Now we have both Teferis. Snapcaster seems great with High Tide. I'm not taking events. I'm white now. We're white now, buddy. We got Ravages and Armageddon. We're making everyone's life miserable. That's his oh, Thran Dynamo? Interesting. I feel like we want an X spell to like deal a million damage. Is that realistic? I think it's still Thran Dynamo. And if and if Shatter Skull comes back, I'll be I'll be pretty cool about that. Opposition. We're not an opposition deck. I kind of like Spell Pierce. What is what does Mystical Tutor get? Oh, it gets Time Spiral or High Tide. Or Force. Or Turnabout or Commit to Memory. It's gotta be Mystical Tutor here. Tutor seems crazy good. I kind of like Orzhov Signet. Ooh, Orzhov Signet seems great. Interrupts and mana sources as well. <laughs> oh, dear. You just preordain over Orzhov Signet when we're trying to Ravages and Armageddon here? Also, I want to play this on turn three, so... I don't think it is preordain. Eh, I believe everything's fine here. Nothing else is super exciting in this pack. I don't think we're winter orbing. The problem is, what are we doing with our time spiral? Like, we're making a bunch of mana, but what are we doing with it?
Oh my god, that's a late cryptic command. Oh man, are we tesserating though? I feel like it's cryptic command here. Let's put Revoker in the board since we don't have a way to, uh, we don't have Tinker. I don't think we're even Blightsteel Colossusing, to be honest. Oh, dig through time seems nice. Was on a call, but wanted to say, Frank, Storm is lame. It's, it's unfun to play against, and honestly, it really isn't that hard to pot if you have practice or watch someone play it in Legacy once or twice. Boring deck for the for the, for the the IMO. <laughs> and this is coming from a dude who loves combo, unless you... I'm going to highlight this. Uh, unless you have Counterspell targeted discard, you just have to race basically no fun. Yeah, it's like you're like, well, I hope I can win in three turns. There's also so many games where I've gotten my opponent to like one or two, and then they just like win the next turn and I'm just like oh cool dig through time into factor fiction Thassa's Oracle can we Thassa's Oracle we can also take Gideon Gideon actually is, seems pretty good uh, post post land destruction I think we're actually more of a control deck now with Ravages and Armageddon and we're just trying to like play Planeswalkers and, and we also have Day of Judgment and like face fetters of blue entering over here. We have no fixing whatsoever. <laughs> I was trying to go mono blue. Stony Forge Mystic. It's okay, guys. We only need seven cuts. Wow, this is a... This is a mess. Oh, what up, Lose Games? Long time no see, buddy. I mean, the problem is, like, we can make infinite mana with, like, High Tide and Palancron, but, like, it doesn't do anything. Yeah, I'm literally thinking of cutting these. Like, I just don't think they do anything in this deck. Whereas, like, I'd much rather have... We're not doing anything with Turnabout if we don't have the... This is... Okay, so this is another tangential... Tangential... Uh, issue I have with Storm is that you have all these pieces that go in no other decks. Right? Like, you're never playing High Tide in anything but Storm. You're never playing Turnabout in anything but Storm. Like, they just don't go in any other decks. Whereas, like, Progenitus, I have Tooth and Nail in my cube, and I still think it's a mistake to not have it in here. So you have Tooth and Nail. Uh, you can theoretically sneak it into play. Uh, you can Green Sun Zenith for it. You can... Um, finale of Devastation for it. Like, there's a bunch of ways to get Progenitus into play. You can Natural Order for it. There's about five different cards that work well with, like, Progenitus. 
Oh yeah, I don't care about Baral at all, to be honest. This is actually looking pretty interesting. I don't like the Mirari Conjecture in certain decks. I don't. I think this is one of those decks. Unfortunately, Blightsteel was one of our first picks. I think like Oblivion Ring and actually like Face Fetters or Gideon are actually probably better here. Cut Tutor and play Ring? What is Ring? What are you saying right now? Cut Karn? No, I think Karn is great. I, I think what we want to do is actually play a bunch of Planeswalkers and then Armageddon. Oh, Oblivion Ring. Gotcha. I mean, I was going to cut Mystical Tutor anyway because I don't think it's as good now that we have, like... I'm going to cut Repeal. I'm not super impressed with Repeal. I do want to find a place for Gideon here. Well, no, we're not cutting... Again, we're not cutting Dynamo because we're trying to Armageddon and Ravages of War. So if we Armageddon and Ravages of War and have no mana, it's pretty bad. So... Yeah, we can just board and condemn. So this is 9-7, which I think is fine. And we also have this. It's a lot of four drops. Uh, Gearhawk has plenty of targets. It has Dig Through Time. It has Force of Negation. It has Days. As a worst case scenario, it has Factor Fiction. It has Cryptic Command. It has uh, Commit to Memory. I mean, six targets for a for a Gearhawk is actually fantastic. And also, it's just a five six attacker. I mean, if you're looking for more than six targets for your uh, for your Gear Hulk, you're likely not going to be casting it. Alright. So I think this is... <laughs> the deck. Thank you! Oh, Dragosi MTG! Thank you for the resub! Also, winmore.com, thank you for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. You're amazing and wonderful. Alright, this hand seems pretty sweet. Bounce whatever they play. Teferi, bounce whatever they play. Cards like Brazen Bar were just unassumingly good because even if it's just a bounce spell, there's so many cards like various Ulamogs or Blightsteel Colossuses that uh, are great getting bounced.
flush puppy TRB. I don't know what that means, but. Does the little man ever bake biscuits in your beard? No, he just does it. Um, he does it in the in the sheets mostly. Don't bully me too much, please. <laughs> You got it, champ. Also, what if we go, like, end of turn, Wrath of God? Nah. Tada, Yiffy. Tada, Yiffy. Wow, that's just precious. Why didn't we counter that? Can we counter that? That was probably worth countering, right? No, it's a creature. I don't know why. I, yeah, it, we're, okay, we're right. I actually had a mild stroke. That's why I was like, like, why did I counter this? It's like this moment you have where you're like, I should have done something. And then like you realize there was nothing I could have done. That's an emotional time. Wow, this is this is going see that I could have countered. So you know, we're doing it. Yeah, we just want to hit a land here, so I'm not gonna like Interesting. Yeah, I think it's still bottom pile. Dig through time also just gets better. Now that we have a... Uh... <laughs> He's like, what PC did you tell me? Was it Eldrazi winner? I was like, yeah. What a time to be alive. Hmm. I see. I see. That's a guy. Land. I and mean, we just looked five deep. That was a good land to hit. Wow. That was a turn right there, my dudes. And we still get to queue up days and Force of Negation. That seems good. I'm not going to run into this in case they have a spell. Like, they could have Lightning Bolt. They could have any number of things. Yep, and they do. Yep. <laughs> it's pretty good. I'm actually going to daze this. There's a port on a western bay and it says on a ship today. 
Look at that. I gave this to them. What a good wife you would be. But my life, my love, and my ladies. This dig through time is looking better and better. Oh, God. What's happening right now? One, two, three, four. They have two cards. I think we're going to force this. Because I want to be able to double double block the Mentor. Like, unless your last card is a, a one white mana spell, like... Oh, really? Oh, this is a fascinating... And you can also just block... No. Yeah, we're just going to double block here. The only way to trade here is if we trade the 3-3. Three, three. If we block here, we get to trade the 3-3 three, three anyway, so... Except we're trading it for a Mentor. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, pretty sure I tuck one of these guys, to be honest. I mean, tucking one of these guys means we can block one and they have to attack Gideon. But, like, if they have a removal spell for this guy or any spell, they kill Gideon. Whereas they don't. See, I guess if they, if we if we tuck one, they still attack with two and any removal spell still kills Gideon. Oh, we could tuck the Banishing Light. I do kind of like that even better. Because they're already attacking Gids. I don't want them to redraw it, though. I guess unless we have an answer to redrawing it, it's rough. <clears throat> I mean, plusing is good and, and good and great. We just have to hope that we hit something that, like... So we have, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana. Like, we can use five of it here. Definitely doing that. Two, three, four. Actually, I don't think we need to use that. We can just pay regular mana here. Yeah, like any Planeswalker also does it too. I'm tucking this, and we're just going to make a knight. Oh, okay, we just won the game. <laughs> All right, see, that'll do. What do we have? Let's, let's figure out what we would have hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. We could have actually dug, and then had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we could have went Ravage's Day of Judgment and had like, that would have been, yeah, that would have been nuts. <laughs> Nick Joseph just comments on a YouTube video. He said, I watched at least four and a half of your drafts today. I now have wonderful Christmas time stuck in my head. Thanks, Frank. Poop emoji. <laughs> Oh, boy. I mean, what do we care about with face fetters, really? It's not going to stop Mentor, really. I mean, we already have Day of Judgment. It doesn't get rid of Oblivion Ring. I feel like there's not a ton of things they showed us that we really want to...
Yeah, this hand seems fine. Yeah, because you're just going to like put it on one of their cards, and their cards are still going to do their passive abilities on the board, so it's kind of kind of meh. Oh boy, things are happening. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, with the one floating. Yeah, so Kadeen, this is the picture Kadeen sent. And literally, someone literally sends me this and thinks of Mike once a month. I literally get sent this all the time. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the mood is right. Wonderful Christmas time. Simply, Are they targeting me? Oh, dang. That's just rude. In like seven turns, they're dead, though, so that's kind of cool. Simply have it one of her fun. I get to days if you're not floating mana. I bet you are. Oh, thank God. Whew. He got to go. Why can't this be three drop Teferi? That would be cool. Okay, well, that's a thing, I guess. Oh, they lost the flip. Days is so satisfying when you get him. <laughs> oh, boy. Simply one of Christmas time. What is the the hell of a hell of a look here we're doing. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time.
I'm making your taco recipe right now. I got short ribs in the crock pot. Are you, are you using short ribs instead? That should be fine. I can't imagine it's going to make that much of a difference. I don't know. Meats, man, so. Are there any meats that you miss? So, <laughs> when I was a kid, or when I was younger, let's say, my mom would make flank steak. Thank you. And it had like a red sauce. She made like a red sauce with it, and it was fucking delicious. And um, I definitely miss that from time to time. What's going on right now? <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah. We're banking on a, on an island here. That ain't an island. That is what we are. Sailor. What if they just died of their own, their own mana crypt? That would be pretty comical, right? I'm just running this dude out there as a man. Island one time. Four mana card. Oh, look, they have a, a rest. A, oh, I didn't even know it was in their graveyard, to be honest with you. There's so much going on here. Yeah, all right. They also played Armageddon. It just cost them two mana. Okay, I like I do like having a, a force of negation in hand. It's kind of nice against the uh, potential balance or deck fading that they're they're gonna trot out here. Oh boy, 
Mana mm -hmm. Crypt and Mock Sapphire, huh? Don't mind me, just adding some clip commands. <laughs> what is this? Oh, meal break. Oh, whoa. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Jedi Django for the resub. Thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Oh, my God. Affinity. I have it. Okay, you're going to get it. Tell me. I'm going to let you have it. I want to have it. Okay, you're going to get it. Give it to me. Open up. Let's go. Let's have it. All right, here it comes. Hand it over. You ready? Can you feel it? I want it. It's on its way. I'm ready. It's coming. I'm, I, was, I feel it. I'm, it's boiling over. Tell me. I'm, That's amazing. And man, that makes me miss Rob, dude. Oh, I'm going to send that to Rob because that's amazing. Did they miss? Interesting. I'm going to actually get their Mock Sapphire here. And the reason being is that they don't have any other color except for planes right now, so. Planes isn't a color, stupid. Oh, boy. What's this going to be? Okay. Disenchant? Wow, what a day. What a glorious day. Well, ideally we can counter whatever they play. And then drop a Gideon. Or they can do nothing and we can drop a Gideon. We can't force on our turn. <laughs> it's not a thing we can do. Stop telling me how to use cards incorrectly. My god, if you could force on your own turn, that would be insane. Uh, see, I will... Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. Oh, wow. That's actually really good. Actually, we're just keeping Gearhulk up here. Wow, that's insane. Yep, you got it. You got it. You may have a date. Come on, really? <sighs> Jesus. Yep, it's pretty good. <sighs> That's annoying. That was a great draw. Now I can play everything. Two, three, four. This guy. Teferi. Draw a card. Play land. Tuck the emblem. That's <laughs> solid. Solid. Let's do that. I'm out of touch. I'm out of time. Going out of my head when you're not around. Ooh. That's fine because all we have is force of negation here, so. That's not ideal. Oh, it was better before. Oh, now it's so good. <laughs> that's whew, that's bananas right there. 
Oh man, Cryptic Command plus Snapcaster Mage. I don't even know what to tell you. I'm just anticipating the balance. Uh, ooh, no. Let's counter spell and draw a card. Oh, there's the blue we need for the Snapcaster Cryptic. Oh, God. It's all happening. I don't think we're doing that. I think I think we just I think we cryptic and then and then snap. Cuz they still have these. Like they could literally just go 3 4 5. Sure. Or are they going to double block? Three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, this is very interesting, actually. So let's go snap. Oh, this is going to be insane. Okay. Wow. We were going to bounce one of their guys. We were going to bounce the wall, kill the dire fleet, and then wipe the board. Oh, that's, that's wild. Whew. Getting a little sweaty. So the best part about Geddon is actually playing it when you have a bunch of Planeswalkers and mana sources. I mean, that seems obvious, but... I mean, ideally we draw Signet here. That would be... That would be pretty cool. I like the new Tybalt a lot, and I, I definitely want to put it in my cube. All the modal double face cards that do multiple things, like it's a two mana, it's a two mana black card that actually has a great effect, or it's a seven mana black red planeswalker. Like it's just it's like adding two cards to the cube, and they're great in in both positions, and it's it's kind of sweet. I feel like this deck is going to be really good against an Armageddon because they could just either replay their lands or have a bunch of mana dorks, so it's not the best for us. Although I guess we can play Battlesphere next turn. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven.
Or we can't because they have ancient grudge in their hand. Simply having a wonderful Christmas time. So we can just play Teferi though. Which is pretty good because they had no mana. Oh, that's also very good. <laughs> so in case they do some shenanigans. Um, one, two. Also, one more land we can just play. The Force of Negation. So they're just like ticking up this Ren and Six without actually having any real lands to get back. I mean, I guess their goal could be to like ultimate, but I don't actually know if we're winning. Your question is valid. Who? It's got to be Snap. Um, actually, it might be Shark Typhoon. No, oh, it's got to be Snap. We have Cryptic Command in hand. Ran and Sticks. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's about right. <laughs> I'm like losing a Ran and Sticks. Simply having one of a Christmas time. They're just going face? This is very interesting. They're just letting Tefri come closer to ultimating? I don't understand. Okay, deal me one. You got it. I was afraid of this guy ultimating, but I guess not now. Hmm. Hmm. No, sir, I don't like it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, they just go end of turn ancient grudge, shoot a token, it leaves us with three tokens. I'd love another white source here. That would be kind of cool. Retrace means you can discard a... It says it's a, you may cast an instant or sorcery from your graveyard by discarding a land. So basically you're trading the land in your hand to cast a, an instant or sorcery from your graveyard. You know what? I'll pass. We got we got time. I ain't, I ain't too worried about it. Thank you. You know what? I ain't even going to counter that. Still going face. Ben, big card. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it, my dude. I don't understand. So we can actually tuck the Renin 6. Tuck the Signet. Thank you. And then Armageddon? I don't want Armageddon here. Actually, that'll, that might do.
Oh, Dave Servo, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the support. You got the link to your Kaldheim article. Uh, I did. Let me find it for you. It is from this week, and it's nice to know that uh, Vorin Klex is confirmed, because I do speak of him. The moon is right. Michael B. Cryptic command. In the tree. Wonderful Christmas time. Ch -ch -ch. Yeah, also, if you haven't done so, definitely check out my article this week on coolstuffinc.com. The art, the link is in uh, in the, the chat right now. Uh, and uh, leave me a, go ahead and leave me a, Wait, did they just attack me when I have Teferi in play? And he's about to ultimate. I'm not sure I understand, but okay. So if I go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna I mean we're just gonna take another turn here. <gasps> Katie, my dear, are you on your way home? Oh, you messaged me. What'd you say? You didn't say anything. You just gave me a little kissy face. Here's a kissy face back. Bam. Got her. Got her. Four, five, six, seven. Now we want to tap this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or we can just play Gideon. Let's play Gideon. I don't want to take two damage here. I don't want to do it. And then we get to keep up Brazen Borrower and Command and Force. We get to keep up everything up, so. Let's make a guy, though. Okay, so we don't need to white for anything. And we do want as many blue as we can because we have Snapcaster and Cryptic Command under there, so. I'm on my way. All right. Man, this is early. It's not even 5 o'clock. It's like she's barely working these days. Palukranos. Yeah, that's fine. I do not care for your Palukranos. So the game's over, right? We actually just go commit to memory this guy. Yeah, this is this is gonna be amazing. Okay. Oh, man, we were going to emblem and then we were going to memory and draw seven and be like, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> and then exile your whole existence. Man, that's... What a game. Yeah, Katie's on a no McDonald's in, in January fast and uh, McDonald's is literally her favorite food. So... It's rough. Let's take out Ravages of War and maybe Armageddon. They got a bunch of big dudes. Let's bring in face fetters. Maybe revoker to shut off Renin Six. Or repeal. I kind of like repeal too. Yeah, it seems fine. I'm going to keep this solely for the damnation. So Franklin's going to get some grumpy mugs. Oh god, I hope not. Uh, Katie gets a cheeseburger and a filet fish That is her. That is her McDonald's meal.
Okay, we got the mana. We got the lands. Maybe I want an impossible whopper. That sounds amazing. The fill a fish, buddy. It's not Chick Fil A. <laughs> it's just fillet of fish. <laughs> Come on, Shugarner. It's not Chick Fil A. <laughs> fill a fish. <laughs> it's like Chick Fil A. That's amazing. We're having a good time. Ooh, Oracle of Smeldaya. Oh no. Oh, Progenitus on the top? That's wild. I guess you're going to draw that thing. <laughs> okay, so they're drawing Progen and Oracle. Got it, got it, got it. That's what we call it here in Utah. It's the same sandwich, though. Okay, Avenger is good, too. I think we're just going to spend our time saving the uh, the Wrath here. Okay, so they have Progenitus in two other cards in hand. Okay, they have Progenitus in one card in hand. Also, I'm well aware of that Steam Bun action, but they hate when you ask, so I don't. Yeah, Katie, years and years ago... Went to, used to work at McDonald's. Oh, God. Having a good time. Having a good time. So what is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we have 8 mana next turn. It is not enough. Too early for a fish sandwich? I mean, it's 5 p.m., so... Nah. So they got Avenger. Beast is on top. I mean, I will 100%. So they have Progenitus, Avenger... Okay, they... And they... Where'd the beast go? I see. Really? I didn't play Avenger here? Yeah, this is unfortunate. I mean, I'm going to kill this thing with Gideon now. And then they play Questing Beast. Did they get the Questing Beast or did they shuffle away with, with Wooded Foothills? That's a yikes for me, dog. So we know you have Avenger and the other guy. Seems good. This is only six damage, so we can actually play Gideon and force them to attack the Gideon, which is kind of cool. So I think we know their hand is Progenitus Avenger Cobra. So... I mean, if I can get a Snapcaster, I'll definitely Wrath of God because I kind of want to make sure we can Wrath again after the Avenger comes down. There's Cobri. 
gonna re-equip I bet yep sounds good <laughs> that's the ticket that is the ticket so we have enough one two three four five six seven eight nine oh wow this is wild Having a good time, having a good time. This game's over. I mean, I'm presumptuous. That's a presumptuous thing to say. We know they're drawing Lanor Elf. So their hand is going to be Progenitus, Avenger, Lanor Elf. So they're going to play Avenger and Lanor Elf, presumably. There's Avenger. And we're going to snap Day of Judgment. Attack for six. Draw a card. Hey, it seemed good. They're holding on to that elf. Huh, that's actually pretty good. Um, So we need to have Elf and Progenitus in hand. Now we know they have Progenitus in hand. If this is a cryptic, it's going to be wild because we can untap it with Teferi. Mm. I do kind of like Karn here. We can also factor fiction for free and then untap the two lands. Yeah, this, is, this, is, this game's just, just bananas. B A N A N A S. John, what up, my dude? Long time no see, buddy. Uh, we're going to take Dig Through Time. I think Dig Through Time is a little better here. Oh, we only have six cards. Valid point, my dude. Valid point. I forgot what you hit with the sword once. I still think we're fine. But I can appreciate the concern. It's actually really good. Um... Wow. Um, yeah, all right. I mean, I assume they're killing Tefri, Gideon, and Faith's Fetters, perhaps?
<laughs> Okie dokie. Nailed it. I mean, this is interesting because it still gives us a lot of power on the board. And if we have a way to get rid of this, they take 9. Plus, we put a Karn on the board or a... Um, Or a brazen barber. Karn at the end of their turn doesn't do anything, but brazen barber does. If only I had one more blue source. Okay, that's actually insane. Uh, that should be game, right? This is 12. We have, they have one card, we know it's a progenitus. Yeah, if I'm going to spend two blue on something, I might as well put this guy on the board than make a Karn, because I can't activate Karn on their turn anyway. So that's, that was the point I was making. Um, Yeah, we're just going to pass. Like, if they go to equip this, we're going to tap their team, and... I don't know. doesn't matter. Beginning of combat. I mean, we could also bounce the sword or the terrace. What is this? Four, five, six, seven. I just don't think that's better necessarily. Oh yeah, you're right because they equipped. It. I mean, it bounce a sword. Y'all y'all ever want to be warm but like your hands are ice cold? Yeah. My hands are freezing but the rest of my body is like, "Oh, it's nice and cool in here." Michael B knows what's up. I mean, they have one card that's not progenitus in their hand, so. I, 
I think it's because my hands are skinny, but the rest of my body is... Michael B., you have sausage fingers. Don't even try to be like, I got these skinny hands. Don't even try to pass your, your beautiful sausage fingers off. As, uh... <laughs> as, as these... As these svelte objects. Uh, they lost connection and they joined the game again, so I don't know. I mean, I have one card in hand. Like, I don't know if it's, even if it's like ancient grudge, like, that's fine. I don't know what the problem is here. Good game. Sorry for the delay. I got disconnected. No worries, my dude. Oh, we would have drawn. We would have drawn Oblivion Ring, followed by a land. Okay. I mean, our deck is sweeter than I expected it to. I'm gonna play first. I'll keep this hand. I don't love it, but we got a Teferi. Why do I have the Mario 2 song stuck in my head? Anybody know? Anybody? Anybody? Oh, Teferi's brother's like, hey, buddy. What are you doing, young me? Hey, younger Idris Elba. I'm older Idris Elba. How you doing? This one looks older than this one, I think. I don't know. I don't know how Teferi's work. Land? That's a land. Oh, baby boy. ba da 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 ba da da oh wow and we hit the uh the gideon slash teferi mana next oh and what if we like they just replay brawl and we tuck it <laughs> actually i keep f6ing and i don't want to because we have force of negation yeah that's fine oh boy we're gonna have double teferi here it's all the things you've ever wanted just not in stand. Imagine being the blue deck and we have we have big Tef on board. And then we got other Tef too. And then next time we get to play Gideon Juror and they can't do anything about these things that we're doing. That's kind of cool. <laughs> so it's going to go 3-2 Baral, right? 
It's third from the top? Yeah, so that's the top. Oh no. Oh boy. Um, I actually kind of want to negate that. <laughs> what if they guess like Frost Titan? I guess we got Day of Judgment. If they play a creature, we have Day of Judgment. If they play a spell, we have Force of Negation, so. Uh, you got it. <laughs> They're probably like, oh. I feel like they should have done this before they started. <laughs> I mean, even in real life, if you tap six lands, um, if you tap six lands, then play a spell. I'm not. I'm not going to let you untap your lands either. <laughs> like, that's that's what I, I mean. That's just magic. I mean, sure. You got it. Seven mana now. <laughs> like no what really come on I have Tefri out so if they're trying to like daze this or force of will it themselves that ain't gonna work my dude which I think they might be okay what? <laughs> so like guess I'll go for it <laughs> like what come on That's amazing. Okay. So I feel like they are some sort of storm deck, perhaps. Uh, this guy seems good because we can name um, like Mana, Mana Crypt. And that's probably it. All right. Uh, I can't imagine Containment Priest is any good. All right. Give it a go. Man, Teferi is just a banger. Shark Typhoon. Okay. Well, now I'm just going to name Demir Signet. That's going to be fun. Hunter, you need to relax, buddy. This cut them off black as well, which is kind of cool. Hey, that's kind of cool. All right. I just bought socks off Instagram. Dude, I've made a bunch of purchases from ads on, like, Facebook and Instagram. Are they casting something? Or are they trying to activate Demir Signet and realizing they can't? Okay. Wow. This is, this is, an, this is a whole thing, man. Yep. No? You have six? Yep. Okay. We did it. Okay, so they did nothing. They time walked and did nothing. Oh, man, that's actually really good for us. I 
I would love to draw an island because I feel like Cryptic Command can really uh, keep us in here. But actually, I think in order to do that, I'm just going to put another one power on the board. I don't, Armageddon? Honestly, this might just lock the game away for us. deal with it i don't know counter it if they counter this it's fine because we get to resolve like gideon next turn or dig through time yeah it's fine i mean they're not doing anything and not locking them out of black from the signet was actually a pretty it seems like it was a pretty crucial play here island actually days seems real good Oof. Uh, okay. We don't have cryptic mana. <laughs> we don't have what you think we have. Oh, we should have actually attacked with Gideon. That was pretty rough. Yeah, I just forgot. <laughs> My bad. Oh, they just give me the island? Oh, boy. I mean, next turn we'll attack with Gideon. That's fine. It's totally fine. What could possibly happen? I think they're dead here. Yeah, you know what? You can have that. I think the time spiral here and we're going to be able to daze it. What does this do? I'm dazing this now because if they do cycle away our hand, uh, I want them to have the least mana possible. And like this should be the last turn if they have no mana for anything else. They're like, yeah, you know what? I'll pay it. All right, so you got a memory jar with no mana. I think they're just going to crack it for the hell of it. Yep. <laughs> this hand's not very good, so that's fine. Okay, you got one underground sea. Like, they can go Dark Ritual, Cabal Ritual, like a bunch of nonsense, but that's not going to... Okay, LED. Sure. Okay, get your hand back. I get Cryptic Command. Get to attack you for exactly nine and counter anything you might play. 
and you have one mana to play these things. Okay, think I think that's gonna be good. Are we three owing with this weird deck? Okay. What's it happening? Uh oh, it's magic. When I'm with you. Oh man. Three oh. Where's the But where's the thing? Where did it where's my tr there we go. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna open this treasure chest while we're here. And uh, you guys can see what, what beauties lie within. Oh, an ancient silverback. Explain to me why this is in here. Why is that an option to get in your treasure chest? I'll open all these two. Be sure to follow or subscribe on Twitch. Oh, a Stoneforge Mystic. That's kind of sweet. On twitch.tv slash Franklin Ford. It's a great way to support the channel. And it's one of the only ways I get to eat dinner and live in my house and pay my bills. Uh, it's a great way to help me out. Unforgiven, I appreciate you, buddy. You are a saint. Even though we didn't cast my Armageddons, I still took them both for you. For you, buddy. And I appreciate the support. Be sure to follow, subscribe, like, do all the things on Twitch, on YouTube, wherever you're at. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.